Well, what's up, Super Fit Fam? This is Super Chad bringing you guys another amazing video where it's my goal to teach 1 million people how to do at least one calisthenic skill. All right, today I got my son CJ with me, and he's going to be teaching you guys how to do cartwheels. cartwheels. All right, so show them your best cartwheel, CJ. Nice, nice. I like that cartwheel, man. Higher. 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 <laughs> there you go. All right, so he's gonna be teaching you guys how to do cartwheels today and all the steps that you guys need to take to get a really good cartwheel and then maybe even learn some more advanced skills. All right, guys, let's get it. You ready, CJ? Mm -hmm. All right, man. <laughs> so the first thing you wanna work on is doing a dynamic warm up. If you've never done cartwheels before, you wanna make sure that you're doing wrist rotations. You wanna make sure you're doing arm circles as well as different kicks because those are gonna be really, really beneficial for opening up your hips, getting your shoulders ready and your wrists ready to be able to do cartwheels. So a funny story, when I first learned how to do a cartwheel, I was in my mid 20s, yeah, I know, super embarrassing. Um, and I learned how to do a cartwheel and I couldn't do it. So I tried like 100 cartwheels, I swear, 100 cartwheels. And the first thing I did was pull my groin because I did not warm up my legs. I didn't work on any kicks. And I was a little bit not as educated as I am now. So the most important thing, you wanna make sure that you guys are starting with your wrist warm-ups, your shoulder warm-up, as well as your kicks. So after you warm up, the next thing that you wanna focus on is building power in the cartwheel. And the way that you're gonna build this power is by doing some lunge kicks. They're also called needle kicks, where you start in a lunge position and you make sure that front foot is firmly planted to push off the ground, and then our back leg kicks really hard. That way we start to learn how to generate that momentum going into the cartwheel, which is gonna take us over or give us the turnover part of our cartwheel. If you can't kick hard through your cartwheel, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. So I highly suggest that you work on this. Next, you wanna focus on your hand placement. When you're doing your cartwheel, you actually wanna make sure that your hands are sideways from your body and that they're on the same plane. If your hands are not on the same plane, you're gonna have a lot of trouble completing the second half of the cartwheel. Like you might get a really good entry, but I guarantee you'll not be able to finish. If you overreach your hands, the cartwheel might be pretty easy, but I guarantee if you underreach, you will not be able to complete your cartwheel. Or yeah, you'll just fall like he just did, okay? And in the demonstration, you're gonna see that CJ uses he actually uses a little bit of a different technique where he actually puts his second hand uh, perpendicular to his first hand or it actually looks like a T-shape, like his hands like that, which is a little bit more of an advanced technique to actually help him um, generate more power or more turnover in his cartwheels so he can lead the way into either cartwheel step-ins or round off so he can get into some round off back handsprings. But maybe we can cover that in another video. All right, so next we wanna focus on your arms. So where should your arms be when you're doing the cartwheel? If you've seen every single cartwheel CJ's done, he always starts with his arms really strong and up by his ears and his arms are straight the entire time. If you bend your arms, I guarantee you will fall in your cartwheel. Yeah, like you just, Die. You almost died right there. So you do not want to bend your arms in your cartwheel. If you bend your arms, it will be extremely, extremely bad because you need to have handstand push-up strength to be able to do bent arm cart, bent arm, yes, to be able to do bent arm cartwheels, okay? So also, you want to make sure that your arms are close by your ears. If your arms are too wide, it's, just gonna be, it's gonna put a lot more pressure on your elbows and it's gonna make it a lot harder to complete the cartwheel. Even though he just completed a wide arm cartwheel, yeah, he struggled a little bit, but that was very impressive. So like, wide arm cartwheels is not the way to go. Keep your arms close to your ears. It's gonna make it a lot easier and you won't fall like that. And it'll help you get more turnover or build more power coming out of your cartwheel. Don't do that, that'll give you lower points. Yes, lower points. He does gymnastics, so yes, you'll get lower points if you do a wide arm cartwheel. And you get deductions. Deduction. Next thing you wanna focus on is finishing the cartwheel. When you finish the cartwheel, you wanna make sure that you're looking back from the way that you came. This is so important. I've coached so many people on cartwheels, and the number one thing that they do in their cartwheels, they always end up turning sideways or turning some weird direction. You do not wanna turn in the wrong direction when you're finishing your cartwheel. The main reason why is that if you have dreams of learning harder cartwheel skills, such as round offs, cartwheel step ins, one arm cartwheels, it's gonna be highly important that you finish looking back the way that you came. If you guys are looking to learn more calisthenics or gymnastics based skills, you can look over here on the side over here and you guys can check out this <laughs> you guys can check out this playlist as it has more tutorials on different calisthenics skills and gymnastics. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave it down in the comments below. And as always, guys, like and subscribe and view us. Yes, and view us. And you guys can check out CJ's social media or my social media. Until next time, guys, peace.